Hello my dear friends of electronics. My name is Laurent Völkel and today I will show you how to filter a DC-DC converter on uh, input with using a chip bit ferrite. And this chip bit ferrite we know that they have a DC bias dependency and because of this reason we will test on different DC bias load. For this reason I have here a 12 volt power supply which is coming to my DC-DC converter which make from 12 volt a 5 volt so it's a buck regulator. I have an electronic load on output and this electronic load it will be set up at 500 milliamps and the second measurement with a maximum load 5 amp. On input we will measure with a homemade or home, uh, uh, homemade or uh, small listen and uh, this listen is connected to a spectrum analyzer. The spectrum analyzer for Agilent will measure for 150 kilohertz to 30 megahertz the conducted emission, the reflected noise from the power supply from the DC-DC converter 12 to 5 volt and we will see how much noise it is in 500 milliampere load and how much noise it at 5 amp load. And then we will try the chip bit fright to, to see if the selected chip bit fright is the right one. So first of all I will connect that to 500 milliamp load and like you can see the noise is very broadband. It is uh, generated from the input noise so it's a buck regulator always need to be filtered on input and as soon I change here the filter With a T filter, it's a very simple T filter with two chip, with a chip bit threads and inductors, and also a capacitor. We will see that this noise is much less, and it's almost nothing. It is far away from the green line, which is the minus 40 dB line for, uh, yeah, this is the ter theoretical uh, maximum level in the EMC chamber when you're measuring in the EMC lab, and we are far away from that level. Now I will connect back to no input filter and I will connect additional the output um, 500 milliamp turn it to the 5 amp and as soon I have the 5 amp you can see on input is much much higher noise level and let me see if now still the chip bit ferrite is still okay for that input filter that we can pass the conducted emission test. Well, on the spectrum analyzer you can see the filter is still working, but you have much more noise like with 500 milliampere, because with 5 amp we have now a much higher uh, noise on an input, but still we are with the marker on the maximum level, which is the one megahertz, which is a switching frequency, and we are at something like 63 dB microvolts, so uh, 62 dB microvolts is enough to be far away from the 40 dB line so you can be safe it's still working but like you can see it is an influence of the load of the input filter so I recommend always when you measure some EMC measurement to measure it with a maximum load because then you have the maximum uh, noise and you can be sure that it works how to select the chip bit for it I will show you in the red expert on the laptop and this is the one tool which you can select your chip bit for right and the second one I will show you with the LT Spice which is a freeware simulator how to know if that chip bit for right DC BIOS load is still okay or not okay for my application we have models in the chip in, in uh, from the chip bit for in the LT Spice and some of the ferrites are not included in the LT Spice uh, library, but you have the possibility to download from our website the completed library for our all components and use it in the LT Spice like it is very simple with the right model. In another video, you can see how to implement, how to take uh, this uh, library into the LT Spice inside. So now we will simulate on the computer and then we see what we have. So now we will uh, go to the Red Expert on the laptop and also we will use uh, LT Spice for simulation. But first of all, we have to choose our right ferrite bead for our application. For that reason, I will use Red Expert. You just have to go to the Red Expert side, log in, change your language, and press the ferrite for PC assembly. Now I did select PC assembly. Additional, I will choose the system impedance. 
because we have a DC-DC power supply. So it's not a ground plane filter, it's a power supply filtering, which has a system impedance something between 10 to 15 uh, ohm. Uh, I will choose here a denomination of 20 dB, and for the frequency I will choose this time something like 30 megahertz. Okay, now I have the right setup. And first of all, additional, I have to check which ferrite bead uh, will have at least something like 2 amp because we have a 2 amp current input. And this ferrite bead is quite okay. I will select this ferrite bead. Now, let me see how this ferrite bead react in the impedance. This is an impedance with zero DC bias load. So we have something like in the 30 megahertz area, roughly something like 300 ohm. And then in this low frequency at one ohm, one megahertz, we have something like uh, almost nine ohm impedances. And you can see the impedance is rising. So it could be a very good solution. You can even add here yeah, more and more filter if you want to put every each marker for a different uh, uh, frequency but you want to filter it's no problem you can just select them okay we know now the ferrite bead is 7427920040 and we will select the same ferrite bead in the LT spice for the LT spice after you install our latest library you have the possibility to open this ferrite bead from WE CBF from the Virtrectronic uh, folder and if you open that you have here a setup, a measurement actually for a DC BIOS load pre-magnetization and what you have to choose again here the right ferrite bead which we selected before so it was the 040 okay I am select that and after you press now the small running man you can see here it is on a frequency range from 10 megahertz 1.8 gigahertz with a step parameter from zero current to 3 amp in a step of 0.5 amp press the small running man will open a new window we maximize this window then we say add trace we don't have impedance directly uh, or attenuation we will say voltage divided by current Ohm's law, very simple, and we don't want to see the phase. We can mark this point sticker, and now you have here different curves. The green curve, it is that what you have also in Red Expert with zero DC bias low. This is actually in all data sheet, it is measured in a 50 ohm system impedance with zero DC bias load. Uh, as soon you apply to this ferrite bead of 500 milliamp. Uh, DC bias load from, from pre-magnetization, it will happen following the impedance or the attenuation will drop, will drop a lot. And this is the blue curve here. And if you put 1 amp, 1.5, 2, 2.5, until 3 amp, you can see that you will have a pre-magnetization. Now it is important to know at uh, 30 megahertz if this load at 2 amp is still okay for you or not. So we have here attenuation at 30 megahertz, something like 20 dB, and at uh, 10 megahertz, something like 15, 12 dB, something between. So this is how you choose the ferrite bead according to the simulation tool. If you want to know if that attenuation is enough or maybe it is too weak, and how to calculate the, how to choose the ferrite bead, it is in the Red Expert. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you will use this software, the LD Spice and also the Red Expert to choose the right ferrite beads and to know if this filtering is quite enough. But anyway, you will need to make a measurement because software cannot tell you exactly which ferrite bead will be fit to your application if you not measure it before. So, watch my next videos and see you next. Stay in touch with me, ask your questions and follow me on my channels.